You must be the new builder. I'm Ian, the other new builder. I just got here yesterday. Nice to meet ya. I'm here to take you to the Commerce Guild. The retiring builder and the commissioner are there. Let's not keep them waiting. Follow me. This way. There, I'm 
Yan, president of the San Rock Commerce Guild. Please to make your acquaintance, yada, yada, yada. I'll be overseeing you with Mian, but don't think of me as your boss. Think of me more as, um, a buddy. That's your, uh, uh, supervisor. This here's Mason. He's retiring, hence, you know, the whole reason for you being here and whatnot. But you knew that already. Uh, what am I talking about? Anyway. See that workshop there on the other side of the tracks? It used to be Mason's, but now it's all yours. Ain't that swell? Just think of all the great stuff you'll be able to make in there for our Commerce Guild. And, well, for other people too, I guess. Uh, well, I am now speechless. Uh, Mason, as the uh, established builder of Sandrock, why don't you say a couple of inspiring words? Um, well, let's not get too friendly. I mean, I am on my way out of here. <clears throat> My workshop is yours now. You may find it run down and dilapidated, ill-equipped, and it is certainly those things, but you may also find that the place has a lot of heart. I believe that will suffice. May you bring Telesis to the land. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to the Blue Moon. There are only so many more days I'll be able to get my Yakmel milk on. Well, he always was a bit awkward, mind you. Anyway, back to business. Before you start, I need to tell y'all a bit about how we work here in the desert. I know you already hold builder licenses, but things are a bit different here from what you're used to. To start with, there aren't too many trees around, so don't go swinging your axe around too much. It's, uh, frowned upon, anyway. But there's plenty of scrap metal and driftwood you can break apart. For that, you'll need something called a pick hammer. It's a pick with a hammer, just as the name implies. We use it only because it's useful for breaking up rocks, but it's also durable enough to break up the old world scrap all around here. Easy stuff to make as well. You just need to find some stone and wood and craft it at your work table. Why don't you try making one for yourselves? You'll be needing it right away anyway. When you're done, just come find me in the Commerce Guild. But, you know, uh, no rush. <laughs> uh, see you there. <laughs> True, it is pretty easy to make. We should be able to find the stone and wood we need by just searching through junk piles on the ground near our workshops. Picking up things is fun. Hey, let's go to your workshop and see what kind of machines Mason left for ya. Let me take you there. I'm already getting pretty acquainted around here, so I can make sure you don't get lost. slim pickings, but at least he did leave you a work table. That should be all you need to make a pick hammer. You know, Sandrock is still well known across all free cities for being directly on top of an old world metropolis. They say some old scraps even end up here on the surface when the wind blows. Once we have our pick hammers, we can smash them up and get all the resources we need. Also, I kind of wanted to say something to you privately. Um, see, the reason I came to Sandrock is because it's not doing well for itself. Everybody in the Free Cities knows that. But I didn't hesitate signing that contract. I thought it'd be the best way for me to make a difference in the world. I bet you feel the same way. So let's make a promise, builder to builder. Let's take Sandrock back to its glory days during our time here. Let's give it our all, okay? Woo. 
Well, I'm off to make my pick hammer. See you around. Now that's a nice looking pick hammer. It is the soul of a desert builder. Never lose it. But if you do, well, now you know how to build another one, I suppose. Next, let me tell you about the recycler. It's another indispensable tool for a desert builder. It's the machine that's synonymous with make do. Once it's made, you could put the scrap you collect with your pick hammer into the recycler to get all kinds of useful items. You can construct the recycler on your assembly station. Here's the diagram for it. Just look it up in your workshop handbook. You can also open to it on the control panel at the assembly station. Eh, don't worry so much. You'll figure it out. Come back to the Commerce Guild when you finish. Bye now.
Hi there, friend. I couldn't help but notice you're doing something illegal. We are not allowed to cut down trees near the town. Oh, cutting down trees around town can have some seriously negative effects on our environment. Seeing as this is your first offense, I'll let it slide. But if I catch you out here chopping down public trees again, well, I'll have no choice but to fine you to the full extent Sandrock Nuisance Tree Law allows for. Worse than that, though. Why, if I saw you chopping down trees, I, I... I don't know if I would want to be your friend anymore. I'm sure a lot of people around town would feel the same way. But don't you worry. You can find wood scrap out in the desert, buy imported wood from me, even plant your own trees on your own property. See? Plenty of ways. So you really have no need to chop these trees down. That's all, Builder. Conserve water, and don't chop down these trees. What's up? Catch you later.
Oh, you must be one of the new builders. Pleasure to meet you. I'm Amira. I have the best selection of pottery and decors in town at the Ceramic Gate. Mason probably sold everything in his workshop when he moved out. So why don't you take this? It's my welcome gift. Have you gotten used to the heat yet? A lot of travelers complain about the sand rock heat. But since I'm from Barna Rock, I don't even notice it. Hi. See ya. You are. <laughs> no, no need to show me the recycler. I'm sure it's fine. You have a builder's license, right? Besides, what's the worst it could do? Explode and burn our whole town to the ground? <laughs> The main thing to take away here is that from now on, whenever you have questions, you can just consult your workshop handbook and definitely uh, not ask me anything related to building whatsoever. Yes, I'll be far, far too busy to handle your questions. So now you have the basic knowledge of a desert builder. Why don't you mosey on over to City Hall and register your workshop? Normally, the mayor handles registrations, but Minister Matilda's taking over administrative type stuff for her at the moment. Oh, you hadn't heard? She's off trying to plant things in the Eufaula Desert. <laughs> Didn't no one ever tell her plants need dirt to grow? <sighs> Say, she's been gone for a while. I sure hope she's still alive. <laughs> Oh, uh, by the way, I found a couple of extra diagrams I was probably going to throw away. <laughs> but uh, why would I do that when I could just uh, recycle them uh, to you? <laughs> uh, no need to thank me. Consider it a new employee uh, bonus uh, thingy. Anyway, hurry over to City Hall and have Matilda register your workshop. While you're out, I'll be preparing a job for you. Hurry back when you're registered.
Halt! Who goes there? Oh, it's you. <laughs> I thought you were one of Logan's gang. <laughs> Silly me, you look nothing like an outlaw. And your arms are so skinny. Do you even know how to defend yourself? You know the desert isn't kind to the fragile. Hmm. It is decided. I, the magnificent pen, the protector of Sandrock, as of five seconds ago, have taken it upon myself to offer you a combat lesson. Splendid. Let's go. You know why I came all the way out here to serve and protect? Because this place builds toughness. If you ain't tough, the desert will chew you up and spit you out. People here need to train often to build that toughness. Now before we spar, you can go pick a weapon from over there. Doesn't matter which, all the same to me. When you're ready, come at me. Come, come and attack me. I won't fight back. Let me see what you can do. Is that all you've got? Don't tell me you skipped Lake. Okay, you can swing a weapon around. <laughs> We're all very proud of you. But can you break through my defense? <laughs> Did I just feel... Pain? Don't you know any other moves? I'm getting bored. Now it's my turn. Stand still, this won't hurt much. I can read you like a book, skinny arms. Enough, I grow weary of this. And thus concludes the segment of my combat course titled, Never Mess with Pen. I hope you learned something. <laughs> I sure had fun teaching it. The first thing I would do if I were you is to go back to your work table and craft a weapon. But that's just me. Farewell, skinny arms. Hello!
delivering your sample newspaper. If you like reading it, just go to the newsstand near City Hall to subscribe. Then you will get each issue in the mail. Oh, hey! I bet it's hard moving to a new place. I know this town like the back of my hand. Let me show you around. I'm a super good tour guide. I know lots of stuff about Sand Rock. Yeah, cool! The Jasmine Co. official Sand Rock tour is now beginning! Our first stop will be the Wandering Y Yakimel Ranch. Passengers, Please look ahead and notice Mr. Cooper, Mrs. Mabel, and Elsie's house. They have a really big ranch. That means they get milk for everyone. Maybe some other stuff, too. Oh, you can see the Yakmel over there. I'd like to say hi to them every day. Sometimes they even say hi back. But it sounds like... Moo! <laughs> I think they sell stuff that you can use to take care of animals here. That might be useful for you, huh? On to the next stop. Please keep your hands and feet inside the imaginary vehicle. Ta-da! This is Martel's Oasis. Miss Martel was the first mayor of Sand Rock and she found this oasis a long time ago. We all drink this water, so don't step in it. In the middle, you can of course see a statue of Mr. Peach. One day I hope I can invent something really cool like Peach did. The big water tower over there is where we keep extra water. Mr. Burgess takes care of it, and you can get some from him if you give him some money. That reminds me, do you know what the official town slogan is? Minister Matilda came up with it, and now everybody says it all the time. Wow, yeah, that's right, you got it. You must have done your homework. I give you a sticker, but I don't have any. Conserve water, that's our slogan. If we run out, um, I guess we have to go live somewhere else. So we should say our slogan to help a lot of people remember. This concludes the Mardo's Oasis part of our tour. For our next stop, we will be visiting Fabulous City Hall! The first thing you will notice about City Hall is that it's very big. Grown-ups often go into this building and talk a lot. My mom works here when she isn't going out into the desert. Aunt Heidi also works next door. She builds bridges and upgrades houses and stuff. Say, isn't that the same job as you? What's the difference? Oh, by the way, from the station to here is the main street of Sand Rock. RVO store, Grandma Vivi's clothes shop, Mr. Owen's saloon, um, Mr. Popo's parlor. Yeah, they're all on this street, so you can definitely go shopping here when you have some time. Moving right along.
for the next stop on our tour, please bring your attention right over there, where you'll see the beautiful Church of the Light Temple. Most of us come here every Sunday to sing and listen to Minister Matilda tell us not to do bad stuff. My favorite songs are ones about Peach. You should come next time. And this is the last stop on the tour. If you follow the path on the right, you'll find the Research Center and the Golden Goose. Um, I think that's it. This place is pretty big. You should look around when you have some downtime. This concludes the very special Jasmine Co. Tour. That's enough walking for today. So, what do you think of your new home? Yeah, I think so too. A lot of people don't like this place so much. But you do, so I think that means we can be good friends. Anyway, I'm sure you have lots of things to build. As for me, I need to go to Aunt Katori's Game Center for business. Come join me if you get time. I'm unsure. A member of the local civil corps. There are dangerous elements all around town, such as the criminal gang led by Logan or the aggressive Gieglers. You should be careful. Howdy. We were shorthanded in the Sandrock Civil Corps. Then the captain showed up to help us fight the bad guys. You should also get a pet. Be seeing ya. Must be the builder. I'm Minister Matilda from the Church of Light, filling in for Mayor Trudy. We're so excited to see you getting started as a builder here in Sandrock. If you're here, well, that means you must have passed Yen's little audition and you're ready to register your workshop. All you have to do is fill in the name of your workshop, and we're all set. That'll do it. If you ever want to change your workshop name again, you can buy a renamed card from the City Hall store. Congratulations, Builder. Your workshop is officially open for business in Sandrock. Whenever you're ready, you can start taking commissions from the commission board inside the Commerce Guild. Now, I'm not exactly known around these parts for my arithmetic, but I do reckon we can expect a lot from two builders as opposed to just old Mason by his lonesome. Work hard, then you'll have plenty of pocket money for yourself too, don't you know? Hmm, I dare say this calls for a celebration. Normally we have fireside meetings on Sunday nights, but I reckon I'll just round everyone up tomorrow to proper welcome you new builders. Oh, and you must come. It wouldn't be the same without you. See you then. And congratulations again, Builder. May you bring Telesis to Sandrock.
message from Yen saying, Emergency, come now, as well? Wonder what's the emergency? Listen here, you lazy mop stick. Me and my boys have had it up to here with your excuses. Where's our uh, lift, huh? Oh, look! Rocky! Oh, buddy, old pal! Don't you buddy me, pal. Since Mason's leaving, you promised me you'd do it yourself. First it was you had a cold, and then it was your turtle beans. And today I find out you don't even got a turtle. Do you understand how much money I'm losing here? So now, I gotta give you a beatdown. Sorry, pal, but it's a company policy. Uh, oh, wait, no, Rocky, no, look! Well, what I really meant is, uh, I was bringing in new people to take special care of your commission. Uh, uh, look, here they are. Did we come at a bad time? No, no, you came at the perfect time. Uh, Mr. Rocky here is the big boss of Eufala Salvage. And he's got a very special commission that we should take care of right away. With Mason's departure, the commission sort of got lost in the shuffle for a few uh, months or so. But now that you two are both registered workshops, you can take this commission off my hands. Uh, help out, uh, right? Oh, yeah, sure. That's what we're here for. Did you hear that? Our first big job. See? They're up for it. Uh, what do you say, uh, buddy pal? All right, Yen. Against my better judgment, I'm gonna give you one more chance. Great! Listen here, builders. Rocky and his miners are working out of Paradise Lost. You know, that big-looking ruins right next to the builder's workshop? My pal here commissioned two crane lifts to move things up and down this real long tunnel they're working out of. And since there are two of you, each one of you can make a lift. Easy peasy for all. Sorry for putting you two on the spot. If only Yan's doing his job like he's supposed to it. Hey, I'm not your pal. If you're looking for parts, we have a bunch of salvage in our company backyard that you can ruffle through. It's located by the Paradise Lost Ruins. Lots of miners there. Can't miss it. Normally we charge a weekly fee for access, but here, Take a free one-week pass. When you're done, install it for me as well. G already drew me up a diagram for the lift. So yeah, you can have it. Hope you put it to better use than this sorry excuse for a builder here. Uh, my, uh, back was hurting. Based on this diagram, we won't be able to find these parts from any random scrap. I guess we'll need to take a look at Rocky's salvage yard. Looks like we'll need to use a furnace as well. Well, we can't finish if we don't get started. Let's do our best. It's you again. Say, since I've got you, did I ever explain the, uh, commission board to you? Phew, uh, alright then, newbie, listen up, cause I don't want to have to repeat myself. The most important commissions that I'll need you to do, well, don't you worry about that, I'll make sure you know about those. Rocky's crane lift, for example. But for everything else, there's the commission board inside the guild. Townsfolk post less urgent commissions there. Nevertheless, you should still pick up those right away. Good for you, good for the guild. Each commission gets a star rating. One star means it's easy. Five stars means it's for pros only. Want to feel the glory and reap the rewards of five star commissions? Uh, gotta start at the bottom and build up your workshop equipment and reputation. Since you're a newbie, you can only take one per day. Finish it up quick, then pick up a new commission the next day. As you raise your star rating, you'll be able to take on multiple commissions per day. 
At the end of the year, we here at the guild count up who's been doing what around town and divvy out awards to the top performers. The rewards for taking first place are pretty sweet. Uh, but I wouldn't concern yourself with that so much. I mean, I've never lost. <laughs> well, that about does it. Got everything? That's good, newbie. You listen to speech as well. I dare say you have middle management written all over you. <laughs> See you around.
can't go in there. Hey there, Builder. Need anything from the Civil Corps? If it's not urgent, I'm supposed to stay right here. Sheriff told me I have to watch this door and make sure no crazy robots get out of the Paradise Lost hazardous ruins here behind me. Paradise Lost used to be a shopping mall in the old world, but after the Day of Calamity, all the robots went crazy. Or was it before? I don't know. I was never good at history. Oh. You want to go in here? I thought you just wanted to chat with me. Well, the lock on this door here is broken, and Justice told me not to let anyone in or out until it's fixed. So, yeah, probably. The door kind of looks fine to me, but I gotta follow orders. Sheriff Justice has got to get an official commission through the city hall. That's just how it is, I guess. So until Justice does the paperwork, I'm sorry to say I can't help you. Yeah. Maybe you'll get a commission soon to fix it, but who knows how long that could be. If I were you, I'd just do other things for a while. I'm sure we'll reopen Paradise Lost when the time is right. I mean, probably. Well, good luck. Hope you're enjoying Sandrock.
Builder, so nice to see you again. As per the minister's instructions, I have come with a gift. Water, to be more specific, the most precious gift of all. In Sandrock, Martel's Oasis is pretty much our only reliable source of natural water. We also get some water from the other city-states, but it's expensive, so we need to be really careful and smart about how we divvy it out. Might I bring your attention to the humble little fence propped up around the oasis? It's the town's friendly way of saying, Don't take water out of the oasis all willy-nilly, or cut down the trees for that matter. If you're short on water in your workshop, might I recommend checking the plants around your workshop for fresh morning dew, or just come on down to the water tower overlooking the oasis. I'm pretty sure builder machines won't run without water in their water tank. So I guess that means we'll be seeing a lot of each other in the future. Well, I won't take up any more of your time. See you at the water tower, new pal.
A new builder? Why wasn't I informed of this? A data disk? Allow me to explain. Data disks are a type of storage medium made of multiple layers of polycarbonate. While many of them don't contain anything useful, some have troves of data on how the old world built their machines and structures. Now granted, we're not yet technically proficient enough to recreate exact replicas of these relics, but with a builder's help, we can get pretty close. Data disks help me create diagrams for new machines, which you can construct on your assembly station. I keep a collection of diagrams, plus potential future plans, with me at all times. So if you need to build something that's not in your handbook, talk to me. Bring me data disks, and I'll give you new diagrams. Simple enough. Come here when you have more data disks. Vomit. I'm the only researcher stationed here in Sandrock. That's okay though. I'm more than adequate in my opinion.
simmer down now, y'all. <clears throat> As many of y'all know, our resident builder, Mason, who has been a hard-working member of our community for many years, will be leaving our flock to seek, shall we say, greener pastures. But today's meeting is not about goodbyes. There'll be plenty of time for that at Mason's retirement party. No, today is a celebration of hellos. Let's give it up for our new builders. Thanks everyone. Very excited to be starting here. I'm going to do my very best to bring Telesis to Sandrock. Care to say a few words? Well said, Builder. Couldn't have put it better myself. Everyone, let's be patient with our new builders while they learn the ropes. And builders, don't hesitate to ask any of us for help. We won't be hesitating in putting you all to work. One more time, a big sand rock welcome for our new builders. We have some omelets, courtesy of none other than our very own Owen. Get them while they're still hot. Meeting adjourned. Oh, and remember, conserve water.
What do you want? Ah, uh, you must be looking for the doctor. We have something for you. For a new person. Drack, no danger at all. Take it, you jerk. Tell us what happens. Should be safe. Should be. Should be. Hey there. Catch you later.
Oh, hey, another tourist. Uh, howdy. I'm afraid I must be on my way. The new workshop owner? Well, shoot, now why didn't you say so? I'm Elsie. Pleased to meet you. Sorry I didn't recognize you, partner. I thought all builders were born old geezers like Mason. Hey! By the stairs! By the stairs! Don't forget to check out the most general store around. By the stairs! Bye. Where everything's always on sale. Come on, Arvio. If everything's on sale, nothing's on sale. Oh, let the mic on. I gotta tell you, those two lifts you made are running like a drain. Looks like Yan finally did something right higher in the two of you. Maybe we don't have to move out of Sand Rock after all. Well, now me and my boys can finally get back into the abandoned ruins and get to work. But we're still way behind on our mining quota. Say, that gives me an idea. You two like diving, don't you? Sure we do. Ruin diving is what builders do best. Well, that and building. I think I got another way we can both help each other out. You want to do some digging? Alright, so here's the deal. The abandoned ruins around here are the pride and joy of Ufala Salvage. 
They hold precious resources and relics from the old world. They're open to anybody who has the same pass you use to access our salvage yard. Pass fees pay for folks like you to rent a jetpack in case you dig yourself in too deep, and a scanner for finding relics easier. Also, sometimes we gotta hire the Civil Corps to go through from time to time to make sure we don't have any, uh, incidents. You builders can use your pick hammers to dig tunnels through the ruins, and also to break up ores and valuables that you can take back to your workshop to make all kinds of cool stuff. Anything's fine as keepers down there, but, uh, I got a little proposition for you. Since the lift's been out of commission for so long, me and my boys are gonna have to break our backs to make up for lost time. If you wanna sell me some of the ores you find in the next couple of days, I'd pay you top goals. Just something to consider. Well, you enjoy yourselves. Don't mind anything I wouldn't mind. Woohoo! It's mining time! Thank you. 